Hello and welcome to Lero Gaming, where today we are continuing our coverage of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. We're coming back for Beta Phase 2, where they have added some new archetypes. And today we are looking at the Spell Dancer, which is an archetype of the Magus class. In this video, we're going to go over all the new features of this class. We're also going to go over the new UI interface changes that will make uh, creating a character uh, even easier for beginners. As with all my videos, I'm going to have helpful timestamps in the description below, as well as links to the various resources that I've already created for the Magus class. So make sure to check those out. If you end up liking this, comment, uh, this content, keep it simple, drop a like. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump in, guys, and get started at looking at the Spell Dancer uh, archetype for the Magus. Now, first thing I want to say, this does require for you to be an elf. So it is a racial specific. So it has to be an elven Magus. And let's look at the descriptor. The strong emphasis on wizard within elf elven culture influences how even non-wizard elves see themselves. Many elven mag magi do not consider themselves masters of a blend of ma martial and magical talents, uh, but rather a subcategory of wizards who study the effects of physical movement and techniques upon spellcasting ability. They believe their ability to cast spells while fighting is an outgrowth of the concept of the spell dance, which itself is just another kind of wizardry. Another thing, nice thing that they added are going to be the stats here. It's going to tell you hit points per level that they're going to gain. Max level of spells, this is important for hybrid casters. Pure casters can go all the way to level 9, uh, but hybrids can sometimes go to 4, sometimes to 6. Uh, this wasn't something that you could pick up on easily if you're a beginner and an old interface. Now it's super easy. It's going to tell you on a fly what your spell casting uh, stat line is. So like basically you want lots of intelligence for spell casting, not charisma or wisdom, for example. And it tells you how you cast. So you memorize spells as opposed to, um, you know... Uh, and like sorcerers will just um, kind of be able to cast any spell that they know a certain amount of time and kind of pick from memory. Here you're going to have to have to memorize specific spells every day that you want to be able to cast. Also, nice and convenient, class skills are right here. So what you're proficient in, so knowledge arcana, knowledge world, use magic devices, athletics, and persuasion. Uh, now finally, another really nice feature here is um, right under Magus Spell Dancer, it's going to have your full pro physical pro uh, progression from level 1 to 20, and also your magical progression. So let's take a real quick look at that. So what you're going to see as I mouse over this, this is going to tell you how many attacks they have, basically, uh, and their progression for saving throws. So I'm going to kind of mainly mouse over these, uh, and then I'll kind of call it out at the end and at the beginning. So they start with, you know, plus 0, 1 attack, fortitude save plus 2, plus 2 will, and plus 0 reflex. And then you'll see level 3 starts to progress. They are not a full Bab a class, so he's not like a full Marshal. So there's going to be stunted progression. But they're going to have pretty good resistances. So you'll notice here, you're going to start getting your second attack at level 9. So plus 6 uh, on the first one. And the second one is going to be obviously harder to hit with, plus 1. Can I keep progressing? As you can see, get a third attack. And finally, at level 20, you're going to have a total of three minute attacks, plus 14 on the first one, plus nine on the second, plus four on the third one. Uh, really good uh, saves, 11 to fortitude, 11 to will, six to reflexes. Uh, a lot of the other classes, the pure classes, you're going to see they're going to have one of these stats at 11 and the other two at six. So they're pretty good at that. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the actual feats. Now, I like how they overhaul the interface here. So you will notice um, certain icons will have X's and some will have pluses. So previously with the archetypes on the last version of the beta, if something was missing, it would just be gone. And you'd have to kind of figure out, wait, did I lose something? Did I gain something? Now it's very, very clear what you gained and what you lost. Now, I'm going to mouse over everything. But if it's something basic, meaning something standard for the Magus, I am not going to read it out loud. You can definitely uh, kind of uh, read it if you want, or um, you can take a look at the linked video for my Magus class. So I've looked at the main Magus class and all the archetypes up till now. You can check out the link in the description below, as well as it should be popping up to see those basic elements. So you have the basic Magus proficiencies, 
Again, you get your Magus Arcana element. Again, this is normal progression. They now kind of show you possible selections, although here it's a little buggy. It doesn't show everything. You get your true Magus that doesn't change. Cantrips are normal. Protect magic is normal. Uh, you lose the arcane pool with the spell dancer. That's a big feature that you lose, but you you keep spell combat. Improve spell combat. Greater spell combat. Greater spell access. It's all normal. Now you gain spell dance. At first level, a spell dancer gains the ability to expend one point from his arcane pull as a swift action uh, to gain plus 10 enhancement bonus to his movement rate and a plus 2 bonus to AC against attacks of opportunity for one minute. Now, the attacks of opportunity, you know, that's not too great. It'd be nice if it was just dodged on his flat. For every four levels beyond, first, the spell dance gains another 10. An enhancement bonus to movement and plus two AC against attacks of opportunity. At fifth level, once per uh, spell dance as a swift action, spell dancer may use blur or haste himself as a swift action. That's great. These abilities thus for one round, not so great. At ninth level, the spell dancer may instead take a swift action to use the dimensional door as a spell like ability. That's great. Once during a spell dance. 13th level, spell dancer may instead choose to take a swift action to gain freedom of movement for 1d4 rounds. That's great. So obviously they they're not really stuck in combat. Normally, if you try and break away from combat, you're gonna take an attack of opportunity. For them, eventually their AC is gonna be so high of that you're just gonna be able to go from one enemy to another and rarely get hit. So it's pretty cool. Um, then you're gonna get arcane movement at fifth level. Whenever a spell dancer casts a magus spell, he gains a competence bonus on ability and stealth skill checks equal to the spell level until the beginning of his next turn. It's interesting. Uh, dance of Avoidance at 7th level. While wearing light armor or no armor, the spell dancer gives a plus to inside bonus to AC. That's nice. Greater Dance Avoidance at 13th level. While wearing light armor or no armor, the spell dancer gets inside bonus of AC increased to plus 4. That's great. Remember, uh, different forms of uh, AC bonuses do stack. Or for dodge bonuses, rather. Oh, this one is actually not dodge bonus, just insight. Okay, that's important to note. So, uh, just... You gotta remember that's an insight. So it won't stack with other insight uh, bonuses to AC, but if you have a different type of AC bonuses, they'll stack. Um, see here, bonus magus feats. It's normal. They lose arcane medium armor, so not gonna be able to wear medium armor. They do get fighter training. And no arcane heavy armor. So basically what you have here is a really, really nimble fighter that is made more nimble because of their magical association so heavily thematic whether the losses of the arcane pool um offset and the addition of the spell dance uh is going to be something that's worthwhile for you is going to be up to you but i hope this insight into the spell dancer um you have found it useful if you have and you've watched all this way uh, make sure to like subscribe hit the notification bell to be notified when new spells drop uh, here at Leroy Gaming, I focus on looter shooters and RPGs. So for my looter shooters, uh, it's all about Outriders. And for RPGs, it's pretty much all about Pathfinder Wrath of Righteous. So if you're interested in one or the other, this is the place for you. I also have a little indie flair, little videos I make for some of these smaller games, my little pet projects. So you will see those from time to time. But other than that, very, very focused. Okay, guys. Again, thank you again for watching. Leroy from Leroy Gaming. And I will see you in the next video.